In 1958, construction was completed on one of Mai Vandero's architectural masterpieces, the Seagram Building, which is right behind slash above me. One of its major, re the major reasons for its acclaim was not just its total embrace of modernist design, but also for the large public plaza, part of which I'm now sitting on. Instead of following square footage regulations uh, as written by the city of New York by creating a ziggurat-like building similar to the Empire State or Chrysler buildings, Mize created a black box of a building with a large open granite plaza. The office workers in the Seagram and other surrounding buildings embrace the plaza as they continue to do today, using it to eat lunch, have informal meetings, and just hang around during their breaks. In 1961, to encourage building more plazas such as the Seagram, the city of New York revised the remarkably important 1916 zoning resolution, offering zoning incentives for creating privately owned public spaces, such as this one here on 58 between Park and Lexington. In 1988, sociologist William White used the Seagram in other privately owned public spaces to see what makes a great public space in the social life of small urban spaces, which in turn influenced New York design principles for privately owned public spaces. It must be easily seen and shown as open to the public, such as this one, has several pathways and fences, has seating, preferably movable seating, so people can make whatever orientation they wish, and is on the same surface as the sidewalk. In the wake of Occupy Wall Street, which used Zuccotti Park, a privately owned public space, in order to circumvent the need for a permit to protest as to be needed for a public park, the New York World and WNYC compiled a list of the best and worst privately owned public spaces in New York. Hit the links below to find out more about them, and either in the comments below or replying to this post on Tumblr. Tell me what your favorite privately owned public space in New York is. I'll see you all tomorrow.